Hey, it's Jess from The Curious Californians, and today we're in the Maldives. The Maldives is a beautiful island country southwest of India. Typically, when people think about the Maldives, they think of overwater bungalows, picturesque beaches, and romance, and another thing. It's expensive. But today I'm gonna to show you how to enjoy a beautiful Maldivian vacation on a budget. Let's go. Number one is to avoid resorts. Resorts are on their own private island, which means they charge a lot for everything. That includes transportation, food, and accommodation. If you stay on a more local island at a guest house, you'll save a lot of money. Number two is transportation. This is by far the hardest part in planning your trip to the Maldives. Getting to the different islands can get a bit pricey, so it's important to know where you can go on a budget. So a few islands that I found that were budget friendly were Mafushi Island. They have a lot of guest houses and it costs about $5 USD on a ferry to get there. Also the place that we're staying at is called Zagira and Zagira Island, you can also get there on a slow boat for $5 USD. Ben and I were gonna stay at a resort because I had three free nights and I was like, oh, great, we can stay in the Maldives for free. But then they emailed me saying that it was going to be $250 per person to get to the island. So make sure you choose your island wisely. If you're staying on a resort island, the price will probably be really high. Number three is food. The most important thing when saving money on food is to eat like a local. When you go to touristy places, they probably will charge you a lot more than um, if you go to a local place. So just make sure you pick your restaurants uh, wisely. Number four is accommodation. There are a lot of places in the Maldives that have guest houses and guest houses are on more local islands and are budget friendly. So choose your place wisely. We stayed at the Dagira Inn and I cannot recommend it more. Stay with them. Number five is activities. So again, if you're staying at a resort, they're gonna charge you a lot more for activities. If you're staying on a more local island or in a guest house, activities are gonna be a little bit cheaper. So stay at a guest house, not a resort, basically is the bottom line. Um, we're having a really great time. This island is amazing. The people are so friendly and there's beautiful beaches all around us. It's a really small island, but there's a lot to do. We went scuba diving, there's a dive shop on this island. So I would highly suggest to stay at Dagira Island, at Dagira Inn especially. Um, it's very cheap and we're having an amazing time. So I hope you enjoyed the tips for having a budget-friendly holiday in the Maldives and I'll catch you next time. Stay curious, bye. I'm gonna see if I can find the baby reef shark. There's a little baby black tip shark. And I was like walking alongside of it, it was so cute. Oh, there it is. See him? He's falling. He's scared. I'm scaring him away. Come back. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We post new content every week and check out our blog at CuriousCalifornians.com. Stay curious.